and Bruno Ribeiro back in the side. And the commentator is John Champion. Keo, Burkamp. Wallace, it's clear, through on Seaman, and a tame finish. No conviction in what Wallace was doing as he bore down on goal. It's a good ball by Vieira, cushioned out to right. He's taking on Mabry for pace, and has won the corner. Bergkamp to take, Overmars, better angle for the cross from Bergkamp, headed out by Molinar, Overmars off the line, it was Molinar that saved Leeds, Overmars had the effort on goal, this was as close as we've come to a goal, Overmars header from distance and Petit couldn't turn in the rebound either. Mabry, Petit, Overmars, hit Petit, back to Overmars, two to his right, including Ian Wright who's unmarked, it's still Overmars! A goal of the highest order, it seemed the pass was the better option, but eventually he let go with a rocket of a right foot shot. Truly special and truly spectacular. Carla. What a ricochet! Oh, good save! That was almost an own goal by David Weatherall. And Nigel Martin recovered wonderfully well. Because his balance was all wrong as the ball ricocheted off Weatherall and was arching under the bar. Ribeiro. Wallace. Hasselbank waiting. Wallace! Hasselbank! Yes! A scrappy goal, but a highly valuable one for Leeds United. Wallace, who's played the entire game, Seaman couldn't hold it, and the man who's only been on the field for five or six minutes goes into double figures for the season. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. It's Bergkamp's kick. And Kuehl's clearance. Dixon. Hasselbank. Winterburn came to meet him and retreated a little. Overmars. Bergkamp. Overmars in the middle. Away from Molinar. Overmars again! It's turning into his perfect day. And it was without question. A perfect piece of play from a winger cutting in off the flank and shooting across the goalkeeper and in. Top notch. And at long last, we're seeing the very best of Mark Overmars. Overmars. Well, it seems can do little wrong. He's not going to set off again, is he? Right. Overmars, onside, Overmars could say. The referee had actually spotted an infringement and had blown for a free kick. Vieira. Overmars. Gaps appearing in the Leeds defence, it's right! Well, Nigel Martin knows Ian Wright of old, they were teammates at Crystal Palace, but that was instinctive. And so nearly a brilliant way to get back into goal-scoring form in the Premiership. What about a goal for you? You could do with one or two in the Premiership, couldn't you? No, no, any, any goal is, is good for me, you know. It doesn't matter when it comes. My, my main um, 
my main objective from now until the season finishes is to work as hard as I can. And then when I do that, I'll, I'll score goals. It's not like um, they, they come hand in hand, hard work and goals, and that's what I do. When you've got quality players like Arsenal have, they just need to turn it on in five minutes. Uh, and that's, that's what they did today, because the crowd were quiet until they scored. Uh, I thought Arsenal as a team were quiet until they scored. As soon as they scored, then everybody wanted, you know, wanted to um, uh, put on a little exhibition there, and they looked good when they scored. Then we got back into the game, and then unfortunately a mistake with one of the players, we let them back in it. How highly did you rate the two goals from Mark Overmars? It was great, because uh, I think uh, he finished well the work uh, done, especially on the second one, but of course we know how dangerous he can be when he's in these kind of positions. And uh, he's, uh, when you look, uh, always people are a little bit, uh, I think, hard with him, because uh, he's a very great player and uh, he scores uh, important goals, and that's not easy. Just to clarify your position, that's hard work and goals at Arsenal, not Benfica or anything like that. Well, wherever I'm playing, that's how I'm going to do it, you know, and uh, I've always tried to do that, you know. Wherever you're playing. Does yeah. that indicate a doubt in your mind or not? Well, not? I wouldn't say it's a doubt in my mind, but, you know, it's, it's, I, I can't lie and say it, it's not something that it didn't interest me. It's, it's a fantastic opportunity at this stage, and, you know, it's something that I would have definitely looked at, but it was, doors was closed on the early doors, and I couldn't really do anything about it. So is that the end of it now? Well, it looks like it, yeah, uh, unfortunately. But to state your position, you would quite have liked to have gone then, from what you're saying. I wouldn't like to have gone, but, you know, it's like I say, it's an opportunity when you, I'm at, I'm at this stage of my, my career, what, you know, it appeals to me, I can't lie. You know, if I say it didn't, you know, as much, everybody knows how much I love Arsenal, but that's a fantastic opportunity, but I'm here and that's that. And when you say an opportunity, are you talking financially or are you talking about a chance no, to, to, to have a new challenge before the World it's Cup? It's or? A, yeah, it's a massive club, Benfica. And it would have, it's, it's something that is, it is a challenge and you know, I, do, don't, I don't mind a challenge. And it, it, it was something that would, uh, would definitely get my, get my cogs going, but 